Hello, hello. Welcome back to the weekly Monday Motivation Podcast. No more excuses. This is your host, Sandy Ballard. Thanks for being here. Thanks for sharing my podcast, because it is pretty easy to share. And it's the only way it's probably made it all the way around the world, is because of you guys sharing. So I appreciate that. You guys are awesome. And you are worth the effort, aren't you? Last week, my my week was just amazing and full and I will use my least favorite word, busy, to describe it. And why is busy my least favorite word? Well, if you don't know me, uh, because usually people will be like, oh, so busy, oh, so busy. But it's a line of shit because they can't back it up with what they were busy doing. It's usually flitting around, doing a lot of things, but you're not really productive. I've been there when I've strayed from my to-do list. At the end of the day, what'd you do? Stuff. (laughs) You know you did a lot of stuff, but you don't. You can't say really what you did. So anyway, my week last week, full of clients. I traveled to Texas to facilitate a disc profile workshop. Got to see two of my besties for dinner. Connected them. And uh, yeah, on Thursday, flew back in. Uh... And I had four clients, back-to-back clients, and then Friday was my most favorite time, was my taboo, quarterly taboo women's luncheon. Uh, all the panel this time, were they were all chefs, restaurant owners, so we had a lot of conversation around food, badassness, and we drank Prosecco. At the end of the week, at the end of that afternoon, I was exhausted, but I was smiling and plotting my next venture with my tribe. Last week, nothing could distract me. I did not allow it. I could not allow it, all right? Except the flight delay. Coming home, it's a direct flight. Shouldn't be delayed, right? Unless there's mechanical issues. Then you give them the time to fix it. So, you know, there, again, are those things where you can, distractions that you can uh, avoid and the distractions that you can't avoid. Like last week's podcast, I, I talked about a client who had kids at the doctor's office. And you can't avoid that. That's life. That is unavoidable distractions. But last week, I knew there was no opportunity for distractions. So I stuck to my list. I lived by them. And I was a machine. And at the end of the week, it was like, boom, look at that. That was awesome. And last in last week's podcast, I asked you, as you review your first quarter, what have you allowed to distract you? And we're not talking mechanical problems on an airplane. It's maybe the weather, because of course, Indiana, where'd that snow thunderstorm come from, right? The weather, social media, uncertainty, fear. You know, you probably want to use work and kids and spring break as an excuse, right? Well, I have two people in my tribe that will tell you to kiss their asses. One is a CPA, full-on tax season, and the other is just getting back from a work trip and then heading to on a cruise right after our women's luncheon. So, you know, right, those two women showed up, they did what they needed to do, and they were there for me, they were there for the event. So both of them kicked, kicked ass, and while we were... Um, texting, all texting back and forth about how great the event was. And, and next time, held the CPA knocked out six tax returns just in that time. So don't try to use <clears throat> work or kids as an excuse because that's dedication. That's saying they are worth it. And they did not allow anything to distract them and to get into their way of what was important to them. And holy shit, I'm on a roll, right? I mean, last week's panelists all female. That's what we do. Not because we're jackass men suck feminists. It's another story for another day. It's what our luncheon is about, how to support each other truly. And the panelists were all, like I said, female chefs, restaurant owners. They had dreams, goals. They decided no matter what, they were worth it. And for those in Indiana, uh, Regina from our, our bistro, Molly, from Smoking Goose, Carrie from Newfangled Connections, and Kristen from Spoke and Wheel. So they were badasses. They are badasses, and they do, no matter what, um, 
they support women in the industry. And Carrie had a great connect, uh, great quote. She said, the world is too small to be a jerk, right? It doesn't matter what you do for a living. If you own your business or not, whatever your goals and dreams are, you have to decide, yes, how badly you want it, my second book that I wrote, and are you worth it? Once you say yes, it won't matter if you work until you collapse. You will wake up with a smile on your face and do it all over again. Just like last week, I would take that week every single week of every month because it was just that awesome and just that great to spend time with clients and friends and meet new connections, make new connections. So people, even if someone is poo-pooing your idea or saying it's not going to work, you're crazy or you're a failure, right now, understand you are worth it. But you have to believe that, right? You have to believe that you are worth it. That's the scariest part, but the rest is easy once you decide. So I want you to post here or email me, sballard at growingforward.biz. I want you to post, yes, I am worth it, or email me, and let's talk. Because if you're not feeling like you're worth it, then we need to, to help work on that part of it. Because you are right? Have a great week. I look forward to hearing from you. Cheers.